Variation in DNA repair mechanisms can influence effects of estrogen and environmental chemicals on breast cancer susceptibility. All women are exposed to estrogen from puberty through menopause. Estrogen is a natural hormone that is important for breast development and the maintenance of tissues in women, but is also linked to an increased risk of breast cancer. As many as one in eight women in the USA will be diagnosed with breast cancer over their lifetime, and the majority of these breast cancers are sensitive to estrogen. Dr. Joseph Jerry and his collaborators at the University of Massachusetts in the USA are studying the environmental exposures and genetic differences that alter the consequences of exposure to estrogens. Dr. Jerry and his colleagues have worked extensively on the hypothesis that environmental chemicals mimicking the effects of estrogen exacerbate or prolong the damaging effects of estrogen in women who are sensitive. In 2020, they reported observations on the effects of treatment with benzophenone 3 BP3, and propylparaben, PP, on the DNA in mice and on human breast cancer cells. These are environmental chemicals that can mimic estrogens, referred to as environmental xenoestrogens. The researchers concluded that exposure to PP and BP3 induced DNA damage in mammary glands of mice at concentrations relevant to acute estrogen exposure in humans. PP and BP3 also affected the DNA stability of cultured breast cancer cells and could cause DNA damage in the breast tissue of susceptible individuals. Although all women are exposed to endogenous and environmental sources of estrogen, remember that seven in eight do not go on to develop breast cancer. Furthermore, there are reports that estrogen may have a protective effect against breast cancer, for some women at least. The strikingly different responses to estrogen exposure among women prompted Dr. Jerry's team to investigate if the variation in the responses among individuals could be related to small changes, known technically as polymorphisms, can alter the effects of estrogen exposures. The team first compared strains of rodents that differ in specific genetic polymorphisms and susceptibility to mammary tumors. Studies were also performed using human breast tissue samples from female donors undergoing breast surgeries. The results confirmed that responses to estrogen exposure are highly variable among individuals, consistent with the results in rodents. These results suggest that genetic polymorphisms and or epigenetic differences could significantly alter intracellular signaling pathways among individuals. These differences may be important for identifying groups of patients who might be more at risk of developing breast cancer following prolonged exposure to endogenous and environmental estrogens. Dr. Jerry and his co-authors have also reported that estrogen signaling appears to be increased in the earliest stages of breast cancer and it is involved in benign or premalignant breast lesions known as atypical hyperplasias. They propose that understanding how these lesions form could provide valuable insights into the first molecular changes that render breast epithelial cells susceptible to becoming malignant cancers. In more recent work, Dr. Jerry and the team have identified genetic polymorphisms in mice that alter DNA replication and repair pathways. Their findings suggest that the breast epithelium is especially reliant on specific types of DNA repair to maintain its genomic integrity. Dr. Jerry and his collaborators argue that it is vital to continue the quest to understand and map out the cellular mechanisms that control the levels of DNA damage in women. Once those pathways are identified, they can be used to identify the subset of women at greatest risk and harnessed as therapeutic targets for treating or preventing breast cancer. More research is needed to understand the impact of Dr. Jerry's findings. Most critically, we need to better elucidate the health risks posed by chemicals in personal care products and identify individuals for whom the chemicals pose a significant hazard.